here we have a problem on proportion let us read the question to understand the information given a dealer mixes tea costing rupees 6.92 per kilogram with uh, tea costing rupees 7.77 per kilogram and sells a mixture at rupees 8.80 per kilogram and he earns a profit of 17.5 percentage on the sale price in what proportion does he have to mix them okay uh, we have uh, the following information from the question uh, the cost price of 1 kilogram of uh, low quality tea powder is given that is rupees 6.92 per kilogram and also the cost price of 1 kilogram of high quality tea powder is also given that is rupees 7.77 per kilogram so for both low quality and high quality the cost prices are given 6.92 7.77 but for the mixer selling price is given that is rupees 8.80 per kilogram <coughs> In this business, uh, the dealer uh, makes a profit of 17.5 percentage on the sale price. So, in this question, uh, we have to be careful in this because uh, usually we will calculate profit percentage uh, on cost price, but here the profit percentage is given on sale price. Okay, so, we have to find uh, in what proportion it has to mix uh, the cheaper and uh, the high quality. Okay, so to solve this problem, uh, we need to be knowing uh, the concept of allegation and mixture. So first, uh, let's understand the concept of allegation or mixture. Okay, I consider two qualities of the same product. One is low quality, and other one is high quality. So low quality can be said as cheaper, and high quality can be said as dearer. I'm going to mix both cheaper and dearer and get mixer and also let me assume C is the cost price of uh, cheaper and D is the cost price of dearer mean price is the cost price of mixer mean price or M is the cost price of mixer ok here we have to notice an important thing cheaper and dear cheaper dearer and mixer all of them have to be in cost price but in our problem only two of them are in cost price that is cheaper and dearer 6.9 7.77 the mixer is not in cost price it's in selling price according to the concept of allegation and mixer all the three cheaper dearer mixture all the three must be in cost price but when we solve problems uh, using this concept one of the qualities will be given in selling price to make a twist in the question so what we need to do is we have to convert the selling price into cost price so then only we will be able to apply this concept and solve the given problem so c d and m all of them are cost price so now in this concept uh, what i need to do in the next step is i have to find the two differences the first difference is going to be between d and m the second difference is going to be between c and m so the difference between D and M can be written as D minus M. The difference between C and M can be written as M minus C. And I have to take care uh, these two differences must be positive. Okay. So now I got uh, two differences uh, D minus M and M minus C. So now I am going to form a ratio with these two differences. That is D minus M is to M minus C. Okay, this is a ratio in which I have to mix the cheaper and dearer. So, this is the proportion in which we have to mix the cheaper and dearer to get the mixer with the cost price M. Okay, so what is the use of this concept, allegation or mixer? Okay, to understand uh, this concept clearly, we can assume. 7 is the cost price of cheaper and 12 is the cost price of dearer. Okay, I am going to mix both cheaper and dearer. My aim is to get the mixer with the cost price of rupees 10. So, this is my target. I am going to mix uh, both cheaper and dearer uh, to get the mixer with the cost price of rupees 10. I want the cost price of the mixer uh, to be rupees 10. 
So, in what ratio should I mix the cheaper and dearer? So, for this uh, what we need to do is we have to find the value of d minus m that is uh, 12 minus 10 because the value of d is 12 and the value of m is uh, 10 that is 2 and the value of m minus c 10 minus 7 that is 3. So, we have to mix the cheaper and dearer in the ratio 2 is to 3. So, more clearly uh, let us assume uh, that we want to get the mixture of 5 kilograms uh, with the cost price of rupees 10 per kilogram. So, how many kilograms of uh, cheaper and how many kilograms of dearer should be taken? Okay, in this ratio 2 is to 3, uh, 2 is the value corresponding to cheaper and 3 is the value corresponding to dearer. So, if I want to get the mixture of 5 kilograms, I have to take 2 kilograms of cheaper and uh, 3 kilograms of dearer. So, to get the mixture uh, with the cost price of rupees 10 per kilogram, uh, when the cost price of uh, cheaper is uh, rupees 7 per kilogram and dearer is rupees 12 per kilogram. So, this is the aim of the concept. In what ratio we have to mix the cheaper and dearer to get the mixer with the targeted cost price. Okay, now, let us use this concept uh, to get answer uh, for the problem we have. Okay, so, as I said uh, all the three qualities dearer, cheaper and uh, mixer to be a uh, cost price, but in our problem um, the cheaper is in cost price and dearer is also in cost price. So, cheaper C is equal to 6.92 the cost price of cheaper is and the cost price of dearer is 7.77. We have to find the cost price of mixture that is the we have to find the value of M. But I do not know the cost price of mixer. Uh, I know only uh, the selling price of the mixer. So, from the selling price, uh, I have to find the cost price using the profit percentage. Okay, so selling price is 8.80. Okay, first let us find the profit. Once we subtract the profit from selling price, we can come to know the cost price of the mixer. Okay, so profit is equal to 17.5 percentage of selling price that is uh, 8.80. Okay, let us calculate uh, if you convert the 17.5 percentage into decimal, uh, you will be getting 0 0.175 that is we have to divide it by 100. 0 0.175 times 8.8. .8. Okay, when we multiply 0 0.175 and 8.8, uh, .8, you will be getting 1.54. So, the profit uh, per kilogram of mixer is rupees 1.54. So, now we can easily get the cost price of the mixer that is selling price minus profit. Selling price is 8.8 .8 minus 1.54. So, when we subtract 1.54 from 8.8, .8, we will be getting 7.8. 6. So, the cost price of the mixture is 7.26. Okay, now, let us find uh, the difference between D and M. <coughs> that is 7.77 minus 7.26 that is equal to 0 0.51 let us find the difference between uh, mean price and uh, cheaper that is M minus C uh, 7.26 minus 6.92. So, this is equal to 0 0.34. So, the ratio between D minus M and uh, M minus C is 0 0.51 is to 0 0.34. Okay, now we have to simplify this ratio. So, we have to express uh, both the uh, terms of the ratio as integers, but in uh, both the terms of the ratio we have decimal and there are two digits after the decimal. 
So, to remove the decimal we can multiply both the terms of this ratio by 100 then we get 51 is to 34. Now, there is a common divisor for both 51 and 34. So, we can divide uh, both the terms of the ratio by 17 we get 3 is to 2. So, the cheaper and dearer uh, have to be mixed in the ratio 3 is to 2. So, this is the proportion in which the dealer uh, has to mix uh, the two qualities of the tea powder.